file management in Talent. So whatever we have discussed till now is the extract part. Uh, next uh, we are going to discuss how we can do the file management. All of the previous tutorials what we have seen is how to extract data from various types of files and we have realized the Talent's extensive capabilities to parse data from any of the type of file uh, support all types of files you will see and uh, once we have parsed the data uh, we were going to use some kind of transformations or some kind of file management we will see how this file management works in Thailand and these are all components we have to use to do such kind of file management the first component is uh, T file properties uh, this component tells you uh, you fetch the file properties like a record count and the hash value of the file and size. So you can use the global variables associated with the T file properties component, and uh, you can do plenty of stuff. So let's just see that. So let's just use any existing file, preferably a delimited file, and and use the component called file properties. So as you can see in this component, we firstly see the file. Uh, we need to define the file path, and this component has a schema which is uh, grayed out, which is disabled, and uh, we will see that how. Uh, we can use this component. Now let's say our requirement is that we want to read this file only if the file is having uh, some data. If it's empty file, we don't want to read that file. So in that particular scenario, uh, how we can achieve that is using the T file property. So what I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to path I'm just going to copy this file path. And just paste it here. Okay, and I want to process this file only if the file is having record. So it means I I want to some uh, put some condition trigger uh, as I have told uh, there are various types of connections between two components uh, row main connection is the one type of connection where you just transfer the data from the input component to output component there are other types of uh, connections known as triggers like on sub job ok trigger on sub job error run if and on component ok so all these triggers they don't actually transfer the data but they help you uh, in maintaining the hierarchy of your job for example you want some component to process only if a particular condition is true so in that particular scenario so you will use a uh, run if trigger you will use the run if trigger so i will specify the if condition by double clicking on the trigger and here i will use make use of the global variables or I can use the schema of the input component. So I will define the condition over here that This is the condition I'm going to specify. Uh, input underscore row means the data which is coming from this T file input uh, properties. If this data has the size uh, greater than zero, then only you uh, you process this file. Let's just see uh, the data which is coming from T file input 
properties. So we have this data that is absolute path, the size of the file and uh, the creation of the file and This P file is to iterate to the all the files uh, in a one directory. So, so how we can use that? We just get this P file list component, and here we specify the directory from where we want to iterate. the loop we have various sorts of files for example if you see I have employed it in the score 1 to 10 and I want to iterate to all of those files so let's just see how we can do that and all of these files are having the same structure so let's just see how we can do that so this time uh, from p file uh, list uh, the connection which we are going to use to link these two components is uh, row i create connection and node row main connection why we are using iterate because the file list is an iterated component it just uh, this component is used to iterate to all the files in a directory So why I'm going to configure this P file to delimitate uh, is because uh, this component is iterative and if I specify file path it will remain static so my file name will keep on changing. So here instead of specifying the file path I will use the global variables and I will specify the field separator as in column separator as one and let's say instead of going on t logo i want to dump all of those files merge all of those files contained into one file so i will use the file output to link it and here i'm going to append a file and i will uh, name this file as out 
DXP. The feeding press was unlocked. Here I will specify the file mask, like what type of file I want to read. So I want to read employee underscore star all types of files. File modify tools. So as you can see, uh, it has uh, read all the files and we'll see the output. So we have read 10 files and we have loaded all of the data over there of 10 files in just one top. Okay, somehow uh, we have not defined the schema that's why it is not showing you the data. Uh, let's specify the schema of the file. When we open this file, uh,
as you can see our data has been loaded for all of the 100 files and we have the team as well. So this is how we use the team file list component and to add it to all of the files. So that's it about uh, today's tutorials. That's all I had. Uh, thanks for joining in the session.